A fight among construction employees building a U.S. Marine Corps Reserve Training Center at Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst in New Jersey reveals a complex kickback scheme. Harkins Builders, the prime contractor on the project, subbed out the HVAC and plumbing work to Sands Mechanical. Sands owner, Leonard Santos, had been underpaying his employees and forcing them to pay kickbacks. When you apply for a government contract like Harkins, the prime contractor for this Marine Reserve Training Center, you have to pay your employees a prevailing wage. For almost a year, a SAN site foreman, Michael Featherston, passed out paychecks to employees and then threatened them with termination and bodily harm if they did not kick back 20 to 50 percent of their paycheck. Featherston would follow employees to a nearby check cashing business and collect the money as they walked out. He then deposited the money into a bank account held by Santos's wife. They would cash their checks and actually give the cash back to the foreman. They told us that the foreman maybe kept some of the money, but most of the money was going to the officers of the company. A few SANS employees became frustrated at having to kick back portions of their salary, and a fight ensued. Base police responded to the fight and shared details from their interviews with Department of Labor, Air Force Office of Special Investigations, and NCIS special agents. Investigators discovered that SANS had a complex kickback scheme in place, and the investigators then recruited employees to capture audio recordings and video of the foreman demanding and collecting money. Multiple sources provided information that the scheme went up to the top of the SANS mechanical chain. When you called me the other day, I told you, you know, don't, don't lie to me, you know what I mean? Do what you've got to do. You, you knew what you were going to say. You know that none of that money came my way, and if it did, I would have told you. So we wired them, our source went in, cashed his check, came out, got in his vehicle, and the foreman came up to the vehicle and proceeded to collect. NCIS discovered the prime contractor site manager had routinely criticized much of SANS HVAC and plumbing work, and often withheld payment to SANS, and required that the work be redone properly. Not getting paid or having to redo work was a big problem for Leonard Santos. The investigation also revealed that the site manager, an avid cyclist, had recently been hospitalized for a hit and run while he was out for a bike ride. So then the light bulbs went off. And we kind of looked at each other and we said, you don't think that these guys were responsible for that. I mean, we're going from a kickback to now a deadly assault but we still weren't totally sure that these things were connected. The Harkins site manager had no idea it was Leonard Santos who had ordered his nephew to firebomb the site manager's truck and crash a car into him on his bicycle, causing him multiple serious injuries. He really couldn't remember much. The last thing he remembered is riding his bike on this dark country road and then flying in the air and getting that oh God moment as he's going over the windshield and on the roof and then his life went dark. His bicycle helmet had severe damage. If he wasn't wearing the bicycle helmet, he definitely would have had brain damage and there was possibility, probably a good possibility, he would have been dead. Santos directed Catone to have his nephew physically incapacitate the site manager so he could no longer supervise the work site. Investigators tied evidence found at the scene of the hit and run to the sunroof on Santos' nephew's car. Santos would do whatever it took to keep his scheme going and to stop those who prohibited him from getting the cash he wanted, even possibly killing someone. Santos collected over $46,000 in kickbacks from his workers on 10 different government contracts. And despite the initial hesitance of the SANS workers to cooperate in the investigation, agents were able to get the evidence and statements needed to convict the SANS officers of their greedy and violent acts. We had this case tied down for the kickbacks within the first month with the surveillances and the sources. The problem is we had a conspiracy and the conspiracy was among a tight group of people that sort of have a code to not cooperate with law enforcement. Once they were presented with the facts, they were willing to turn over, then we went to the next guy and then the next guy until we got to the present. Leonard Santos, Rich Catone, and Michael Featherston all pled guilty to conspiracy to extort employee kickbacks and interstate travel in furtherance of a crime of violence.